On this week's Glambia Ireland Dairy Focus Vodcast, we'll have speakers from Dovea Genetics, UCD Research Lions Farm, and myself, Maeve Regan, from Glambia Ireland. You'll now hear from Professor Finbar Mulligan on all things milk fat depression as cows move through the second rotation. You'll also hear from Orla Neville, PhD research student in Lyons Estate. based on um, ICBF's records uh, from 2004 to 2014, approximately 10% of dairy herds in the country um, will have milk fat below 3.3 in the period April, May and June. Um, but probably more significantly, uh, we found that approximately 40% of herds in the country had a milk fat below 3.6 in this period, April, May and June. And again, you know, I would emphasise that these are Irish dairy cows. Uh, the data is based on millions of records um, from the Irish uh, Cattle Breeding Federation. Uh, and we certainly think that this um, high proportion of herds uh, with a bulk tank for fat below 3.6, that that costs uh, farmers and processors a significant significant amount of money. Overcoming milk fat depression um, is a holistic approach. There's many areas farmers could work on to improve their milk fat percentage. Um, one of these maybe the, to avoid grass that's high in oil. This is this could be done by um, go by avoiding paddocks that are um, of very low covers of under 1200. Maybe go into paddocks with higher covers. Other approaches may be to consider following the cows with fertiliser as opposed to blanket spreading fertiliser as high nitrogen grass is high in oil. Um, if you're feeding a lot of concentrates, avoid concentrates with high inclusions of maize distillers as these are high in oil. Also avoid wheat as it drops rumen pH significantly um, and you could consider using con concentrates with higher inclusions of one molasse beet pulp and soya hulls as these will help stabilise rumen pH. Um, use of mineral buffers have been proven to reduce durations of lower rumen pH and increase fat yield in grazing cattle. Also, feeding a partial TMR or buffer feeding may help increase fat yield. Cow genetics is also very important. Farmers should focus on looking at bulls with um, higher fat PTA and higher fat kilos. We'll now hear from John Lynch of Dovea Genetics on breeding preparation and protocols and guidelines in place for farmers and AI technicians during current COVID-19 restrictions. John Lynch here from Dovea Genetics. I'm here today to give you a quick update on the spring 2020 breeding season. The first thing you need to do as a farmer is analyze your EBI report and analyze where your strengths and your weaknesses lie. With our help, select bulls to improve their overall herd performance regarding kgs of solids, fertility and milk. When selecting bulls for use on maiden heifers for 2020 breeding season, be careful to select well-proven high reliability sires. There's a new dairy heifer calving index, and we recommend that you use bulls under 6.5% calving difficulty on dairy heifers over 90% reliable. In order to have a successful breeding season in 2020, both you and us, we are going to have to keep strict protocol regarding farm visits. An AI technician needs to be supplied with a list of the cows and bulls required for service on that particular day. This can be done via text message to their phones or on a whiteboard outside the parlour. The second thing is, clean fresh disinfectant needs to be left on the farm each day for the technician. Any gates going from where they park to the crush needs to be left open that there's no touching of any surfaces you're touching. The crush needs to be cleansed and disinfectant daily. And the last point is, a bin needs to be provided for the technicians to dispose of any gloves and materials used on the farms. Our technicians will be sanitizing and disinfecting between farm visits and we wish you the best for 2020. As part of the series, this week I'll be taking you through some current grassland management tips for the week ahead. According to Pasture Base Ireland figures for this week, current growth, average growth stands at 42 kilos of dry matter per hectare per day. 
However, in some scenarios, growth is a lot higher, with Magic Day having come and gone on the vast majority of farms. Magic Day obviously being when growth exceeds demand. As it stands, growth rates are ahead of what they were this week last year, and it's also important to take dry matter percentages into account when allocating grass to cows. Current dry matter figures as the weather continues to be good across the country, stand at about 20 to 22 percent. As we run into the breeding season, it's important to keep high quality grazed grass in front of the cows at all times. This means consistently turning cows into pre-graze and target covers between 12 and 1400 kilos of dry matter per hectare. Why do we want to always achieve these pre-graze and target heights? It's in order to increase grass utilisation, achieving those residuals of 3.5 to 4 centimetres to have subsequent good quality grass in the next rotation. We want to increase milk solids produced off of that grass by keeping the high quality grass in front of cows. And we also want to kickstart those regrowths as fast as possible on the milking platform while growth is high. Statistics highlight that 7% of the national milking platform is reseeded annually. However, the target is 10%, which would mean a renewed and regenerated milking platform every 10 years. Reseeding will increase total dry matter production per hectare, increase grass utilisation and profitability off the back of that. Having a low proportion of perennial ryegrasses available in the sward is on average costing the typical dairy farmer approximately €300 Euro per hectare per year due to poor grass productivity and profitability lost. Reseeding should be looked at as a long-term investment on the milking platform with the typical return of investment being 96% within the first year with the benefits significantly outweighing the disadvantages. It's worth considering reseeding in current growth scenarios on farm at the moment. For more information on reseeding, milk fat depression and current protocols in place during the COVID-19 restrictions, reference glambiaconnect.com or contact your local Glambia representative.